Hey, what is up everyone? Today I'm going to show you exactly how to make these hard surface curved slices in Blender. If you are new here, feel free to subscribe for more. It only takes two seconds, and now let's begin. Alright, so just quickly before we start, I'm going to enable cavity. Uh, it just makes the edges look a little bit cleaner while we're working. Alright, so to do this, I'm going to use two different add-ons. Uh, one is free and one is premium. So the first free one is called ball tool so you can go to preferences and search ball tool and enable it there so I'm gonna hit shift a to add a cutter I'm gonna use a cube and I'm gonna scale it down in edit mode so I'm gonna position it here so it's cutting into this cube and with ball tool enabled what you want to do is shift select the object that you want to cut into and then hit control forward slash on your numpad which will give us a slice cut so now what you can do is click on our slice here and go to the uh, modifiers panel and go and apply this boolean but you'll see you get this error it can be applied to multi-user data so what you want to do is go over to the object data panel and what you want to do is hit this 2 here so now it's a single user copy and we can go and apply it alright so now we're able to edit this that's why we applied it so for example I can go and hit control B to bevel this and scroll up on my mouse wheel to add some more segments and you can see this looks quite blocky so I'll right click and shade smooth and enable auto smooth under the normals panel and there we go so now I'm going to show you how to do it with Box Cutter, which is a premium hard surface modeling add-on and it's really necessary if you do a lot of hard surface work and I definitely recommend it. So with it enabled, you can hit Alt W or hit this uh, little box here. So now with the object selected, we can draw onto it and I'm going to extrude through there. So hit X on your keyboard, so that will allow us to slice it and we can click and from now it's pretty much the same process you just go and apply the booleans and now we're able to edit uh, this mesh here there we go alright thanks for watching everyone if you enjoyed this video make sure to subscribe and like for more I really appreciate it also my discord and Instagram links are in the description feel free to come hang out and I will see you in the next video